Oh, it's already on. <coughs> hey guys, GFloss23 here. Here, we're back again with another video. Uh, yeah, so basically, there was another reason why I'm doing another face reveal because, like, well, the new Mighty Movie trailer has just been released. And as soon as I first saw the trailer, I was like, oh man, yes. Like, I know it's already been out for a few days now. Uh, by the time I'm, I'm like, it's already been like out for like yesterday at least, but by the time this video is gonna be public, I bet it's already been like two days or at least something like that. But then again, I'm gonna be like discussing about things that are noticeable in the movies, like what I think it is, like how I think about the movie in the end. Um, yeah, basically that's all I have to say for the intro, but yeah, without being said, let's just dive right in. Before we move on any further, I just wanted to let you know that I want you all to like subscribe to my channel first and don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my videos. As well as go to DeviantArt under this account, which is, this is my DeviantArt account, where you can read all my pop pro writer stories, like here's the progress of the stories I've already made. I've already made like 359 of these now. But yeah, then again, don't forget to follow me here as well, so you won't miss out on any pop show right now this series. With that being said, let's jump right back into the video. Alright, so here is the first image that we're going to be looking at here. Now, I'm going to be splitting this video into different segments because I don't want to like stay in my office and like record too long. But yeah, here in this first image here, we can see like the aftermath of the Mighty Meteor crashing in Adventure City. And why the bat, they seem to like change the design for the Mighty Meteor because unlike in the original canon, which had this like fiery orange glow, so we actually get to see a blue color on the Mighty Meteor. Now, I found it to be kind of strange why they go with this blue one because like that orange one we saw was like kind of more natural in my opinion, but I really like this like electric blue color that they're going for. And we can see all like the Pop Troll here, like right around the pubs, like looking at the Mighty Meteor, as well as the Mini Patrol here, which is like the three new characters from the movie. But yeah, what's interesting though is that when Sky was about to like interact with the Meteor, the Meteor didn't actually give her powers directly. Instead, of the Meteor actually just cracked and it reveals this like crystal like thing. Now, obviously, from what we know in the original Mighty Puffs, is that when the Puffs interacted with the Meteor, it gives them the superpowers. But in this case, it seems that the crystals are the, the power source for the Mighty Puffs. As you can see, that the crystal is actually attached to Sky's Puff tag. Like, now, this is actually going to be interesting because, like, like, I wonder if there's actually going to be a time limit for these powers. Here's a quick look at the crystals that's going to give the Puffs, they are super powers, and right off the bat, I really like the colors for these crystals. I mean, like the shade of purple mixing with the pink and blue, and even that little hint of orange and red inside it. Like, you guys can't can see it, though, but like, you can see that this one here has like a crystal, has like this fiery color inside of it. But I'm actually kind of curious, like, do these crystals actually have the same, like, a time limit for their? Oh, charging up the pots. Um, yeah, I guess maybe, but I don't know. Like, we'll just have to wait until the movie comes. But it's kind of interesting that unlike like the show where they have to interact with the Mighty Meteor first, they have get their power from these crystals. So yeah, that's actually a huge change. I wonder how that's gonna play out. So for this second segment, it looks like that that there will be like some different superpowers that will be given to the pup. Like for example here, Zuma seems to have the ability to turn himself into water. Now this kind of reminds me of like the acid armor move from Pokemon where like the Pokemon can like turn into liquid. 
but it's interesting that they actually like bought this up with Zuma and like I think this is actually like one of his coolest abilities. Even and at this pause point like here he kinda looks like he's turning into a ghost and Liberty's just like what the heck? But that's not the only power difference. Because like in the original canon, like Zuma has like the ability to control water. But it seems that this time he has the ability to turn into water. I'm actually really interested in how that's gonna play out in the movie as well. Now for Marshall, it's actually very really interesting because like, unlike before in the original Mighty Pulse where he has like, fire pulse, he actually has pyrokinesis, which is the ability to control fire. Now, this is actually really amazing though, because like, I really like the fact that even though that it's like the sense of irony, like Marshall being the firefighter, but he actually can control fire. But yeah, these two powers seem to be like, gonna be a player big part in the movie like I'm actually interesting on interested on how like Zuma's water abilities will play out as well as like Marshall's new fireball powers I mean this is brief I mean like Marshall's fire power is actually kind of like accurate to my canon because like in my Rido canon Marshall has the elemental power of fire that is in my canon that is but this is really cool or should I say hot but what's even cooler is that we get to see the new design for the Mighty Puck. Now, right off the bat, I really like these suits. I mean, I, was, I think this is like one of the best suit designs for Paw Patrol that the show has ever released. Like, we've already seen like some cool designs for like Rescue Knights or Moto Puffs or even the, like Mission Paw. But this is, but in my opinion, this is kind of like Mission Paw mixed in with the mighty part hold on but yeah it's interesting like they have like these cool designs on them especially bubbles though which kind of looks like a rock or like a meteor or something i really like that one though as well as like the blacked out designs for like sky and chase here i really like the little hint of yellow that chase has there as well as like sky having a silver helmet which looks really cool i would say rocky is like Kind of questionable in my opinion, but I really like that little hint of blue on him. As well as Marshall actually looks like glowing in fire. And Zuma's though also looks really cool with this like blue highlight. And Liberty's is actually not that bad as well. But it's kind of I'm kind of like confused. Like all the no main six pups are like glowing, but Liberty is not. Which I'm kind of curious about that. Like does Liberty's power will play in a big part in the final climax? I mean like she was like, she's the newest member of the team so I guess we'll just have to wait until the movie came out. As well as like the new vehicles for the Mighty Puffs actually looks really cool. Like here's the close up on Chase vehicle. Now unfortunately I we still can't haven't seen like the full profile of the body. Like this is like the fun view of it. But when I saw in action in the trailer, it kind of reminds me of the spec type vehicle from Hot Wheels Accelerator. Because like, it's blue, an open wheel vehicle, and it has a spoiler. It was also a close look at Sky's jet, which I really like the design though, but it's still kind of like, like, interesting that although that Sky is like the pink member, her vehicle is still silver. Like, I'm not sure if anyone has ever pointed out that Sky is like, like has a lot of silver colored vehicle. Oh, especially with this gender, but I really like on how they make the pink actually stuck out. As well as like here's a look at the other vehicles, which kind of looks like I think these are like upgraded versions of their city vehicles, just fit for the mighty plus. Because like Marshall's heel looks like he has like an armored up version of his fire truck. Zuma seems to have like this like silver armor on it. As well as Bubbles have like like this ultra spiky wrecking ball and like this treads on it. As well as Rocky, um, I think Rocky has like these like turbines on them. I'm not really sure. Like, I mean, from the trailer, it we can't really get a close look on the vehicles just yet. But yeah, from the looks of it, kind of looks like they upgraded their city vehicles to fit with the Mighty Puck, and I really like that a lot. Let's take a let's just take one more look at these Mighty Pucks and just admire on how they're designed so beautiful. Like, oh, mwah, they're so cool. <laughs> Alright, so here we have the final segment of the video, and this time we're going to take a look at the antagonist of the movie. 
and this is actually the design that they're going to use for Dr. Vance. Now, when I was like making my Vital Cannon, I was like anticipating to see what she looks like so I can translate her into my Vital Cannon. And right off the bat, as soon as the toilet draws in, I had to like redesign her all over again to make her look like in the one in the movie. But I'm actually kind of mind blown. Like, this is not something I would expect from her design, but I really like this like light blue hair that she has. Kind of reminds me of Cody for some reason. I wonder if she's actually kind of related to Cody, obviously not, but yeah, it's kind of interesting that she has this hair color for her hair. I mean, and she also has the seven mighty crystals, which I'm not sure if she actually stole them from the pups, like maybe it's part of the climax, but then again, like, this is not what I expected from her, and it seems that her power is like lightning control, if you, if you see here, like, she seems to have the ability to control lightning as well. Now, that's the pink lightning is actually like a reminiscence to what Sky's powers in my wider cannon being like a pink lightning color. Like you can see Humdinger like like looking at Dr. Vance's lightning powers here. Now, I'm obviously calling her Dr. Vance because like that's how she's kinda of described my cannon. Like we all know that her full name is Victoria Vance. But yeah, I still call her Dr. Vance because of my cannon. But yeah, I kind of like this purple, little pinkish lightning actually. It's actually kind of cool. cool. As well as Mega Humdinger will also make a return, and looks like we get a return of Mega Humdinger. Except unlike in the show where he was like all purple and buff, he seems to be normal except he's just gigantic. But yeah, like it's interesting that they bought this kind of concept back. Heck. Um, hold on, excuse me. Yeah, you can tell that I'm kind of stressed out right now because I just like finished my exam. But then again, like looking at Humding over here, he has returned and it looks like he still wears the same attire as he does in the movie, the first movie that is. Like, did he even change after that? And like, we just have to like see on how he actually escapes from prison and how he actually meets up with Dr. Fan. Looking again, here's like the final image we'll be looking at, and it's just like a shot of Ryder, Liberty, Rocky, and Chase. Now, I must say though, like in that earlier segment, like we didn't see Ryder's outfit, but he was like a closer look at his outfit though, and I must say though, the color combo that he has, he literally looks like like he's cosplaying as Spider Man. I mean, like the way and how like he has the red on top and blue on the bottom, yeah, I mean, like Ryder has always been like an interesting character because like. None of us actually know what his favorite color is, like, even in the show, he pointed that he doesn't have a specific favorite color, but, yeah, I think Rido has, like, one of the best looking designs, though. Like, he literally speaks Spider-Man for me. And, of course, this is also what the puzzle looks like without the glow, like, from what I think and presume from this image, it seems that this is, like, for the final climax. Of course, we'll have to wait and see. But then again, like, just take a time to look at the hard work that the developers have done. I really, and yet again, this pink lightning, oh, beautiful. And we've reached the end of this video, so what are my final verdicts of this trailer? Is it good? Well, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Paw Patrol, so I always found anything Paw Patrol is to be good. Is it gonna be worth the watch? Uh, I would say if you're a Paw Patrol fan, then yeah, you should probably go watch this when it's out. I mean, I won't probably just I'll probably just like download a link to the file to so to watch this movie. But yeah, that's how I I mean like I didn't even watch the first movie on the cinemas. I just only like watch it through my laptop basically. So like I was like able to find the link to the movie, and I was like. Okay, so yeah, I just click download the movie and boom. So I'm hoping that the same thing happens again when I, I can find like the file for the mighty movie so I can watch it, it for free without having to go to the cinema. But then again, like, yeah, my final verdict of this trailer is that it's really awesome. I can't wait. And yeah, pardon my voice for sounding a little bit weird because I'm kind of sick. And <coughs> 
sorry about that, I have to clear my throat. But yeah, we reached the end of the video. So once again, don't forget to like and comment to my video, like subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my videos. With that being said, this is GFOS23, signing out till next time.